The Seven Deadly Sins, Wrath with Mongolia, Gluttony as the British Empire, Greed is the Venetians, The Soviet Union is Envy, Sloth is the former Chinese Qing Dynasty, uh, Pride, and finally, Lust, the Japanese Empire. Oh, that's dark. Uh, yeah, aren't you missing somebody? There's seven deadly sins and you couldn't find a way to squeeze in No-No Germany? Maybe that would have been too easy. So, of course, the former Mongolian Empire is Rao. How else could you describe this? The British are gluttony since they were just eating up all their colonies. Like how even the 13 colonies appear here, we're dead. Love the throwback to the Venetian Empire as greed. They were a very successful mercantile empire back in the day. To think they started so small in the northern part of modern-day Italy and they got this big. The USSR, who envied the United States of America and possibly our nukes, but they ended up having more nukes than us. This is definitely one way to describe the Qing dynasty. Their sloth trait kind of started the whole century of humiliation for China. And if you didn't know, during World War II, the Japanese did a lot of horrible things, especially with Korea, but with all the places they took over. You could actually do this format several times with different countries and different deadly sins. There's a lot you can swap in, swap out. Who the hell are you? Oi, Ireland. I feel like I nailed that pronunciation. <laughs> did you just say oil? Land. Prepare the tanks. Oh, you're driving over me, titles. Potatoes? Oh, potatoes. Oh. <laughs> Potatoes. Yeah, anytime the U.S. hears the word oil, we already start rolling in with the tanks. Gotta try the American pronunciation of these words, Ireland, just to be safe. Election of USA mean you're to change how being country? No, my sweet child, I shall show you. <laughs> I'm but a beautiful California mountain snake. I never truly change. I merely shed my skin. Love how Poland is literally horrified. Pretty much how U.S. elections work, yeah. And at the end of the day, no matter who's in charge, uh, it's still pretty much the same place. Just with a slightly different, uh, face, kind of. Loved how gruesome that was. For some reason, body horror and country balls go really well together. USA, we have to do something about the climate. It's 45 degrees outside. Celsius or freedom units. <gasps> Either. What? Oh, 45 degrees. Geometry. Math. I don't know. Latitude. The world is now turning 45 degrees. I don't remember hearing this side effect of climate change. This is by far way worse than I thought it was going to be. Love that the USA ball was a reference to this stare dad meme. Another way to describe this in at least cinema is the Dutch angle when the camera's tilted 45 degrees like this. I knew the Netherlands was behind climate change this whole time. Now it all makes sense. 205 BC. Break you. 395 AD. Break you. 1940 AD, break you! Post World War II. All right, hooligans. America has invented a club called NATO so we can oof Russians and not each other anymore. Join us. Grrr. America says the future we can do battle with Iran. You know, Parthia, the Persian Empire, whatever you see words call it. Frick the Persian Empire! Frick Parthia! That's one way to get the Italians and Greeks on your side. Historically speaking, Greece and Italy have always had issues with those Eastern Empires. Whether you're talking Greece with the giant Persian Empire, or the Romans with the giant Parthian Empire. Both these two had pretty giant enemies over there. So we're basically making a history joke. The only way we can get these two to join NATO is to get them to work together to take out a much bigger bigger foe that they've always used to have to fight. But it's so weird to ever see Greece and Turkey angry at each other. Though they've literally fought for thousands of years, they're still good homies to this day. Like, I don't really understand their relationship. There's like a rivalry, but they're also besties. I guess they've so often had to come together to defeat a much larger foe. Can I into Nordic? No. no. What's wrong, Estonia? I can't into Nordic. <laughs> it's okay. Really? Yeah, because you can into Russia. I knew that's where this is going. They just get shanked in the Head. And funny enough, historically, Russia has always wanted Estonia into Russia. They've forced them in several times. And it's not like they can just form their own Baltic friendship with Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. Usually all three of those get taken over by Russia. The only chance they have is if they all join Nordic again. Keyword again. They have in the past. But back then, that was also against their will. How about instead of Nordic, into uh, Scandinavian? If anyone wants the Swedish Empire to come back, it'd probably be Estonia. Buy, collect ooze from rotting salty fish. I have made new save condiment. I call it... Bleh. I don't know how else to say that word. Any hard to pronounce. That's what I'm saying in Indonesia. Just call it K-Cap. fair, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. That Asian fishy sauce is so hard to come by, so I made a bootleg. Behold, mushroom ketchup. Mushroom ketchup? Mushrooms are stupid, 
old man. I perfected it for you using the gift of the new world, the tomato ketchup. Philippines run out of tomatoes, so just make banana ketchup. Banana ketchup? <laughs> I don't know him, says Indonesia. Am I uh, not the butt of a food joke for once, says the British? I didn't even know banana ketchup existed. Thank you for bringing this to my attention, Philippines. Although, I don't know if I needed this information. Okay, I would be on people's side here, kind of knocking it, but I'm one of those people that don't like tomatoes, but of course I do like ketchup, pasta, pizza. Like, plain, it's just, yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan. So maybe this would be a little bit different? Although I like bananas, so maybe I won't like banana ketchup. Oh wait, I could probably buy this right now. I just have never seen it in the stores. During World War II, the Philippines was going through a shortage of tomatoes, so the Philippines had to endure without Heinz, but Maria Oriosa realized you can just do it with bananas instead. So <laughs> if life gives you bananas, uh, okay. I am very curious. I really want to go try this now. Love this note. Ketchup was never tomato nor red to begin with. Mushroom ketchup from the UK really did come first. Also, the US was using it back in the colonial days. Oh my god, looks horrifying. Could you find a slightly more appetizing looking photo? I'm gonna definitely take the banana ketchup over this. I wonder what Italians think. They have very strong opinions about food. The Russians as this ship's going down. The Russians as this oil refinery is on fire. The Russians as they're doing another presidential election. And the Russians at their constantly engulfed in flames fan club. Your membership application is approved. Welcome. I love that California's also included. That's because we are literally on fire all the time. That's also, uh, I guess, Australia. I think Russia and Brazil is supposed to be more metaphorically on fire. Well, I don't know. No, no, Brazil is also very literally on fire a lot of the times. I think only the metaphorical fire is supposed to be for Russia. I get it. Okay. Could argue California is metaphorically on fire a lot of the time as well. Burn, baby, burn, burn. Different countries' greetings. We have the handshake. Hi, sup, the dab, the double kiss, mwah, mwah. and the, uh, the, uh, the socialist kiss screams the USSR. Help, screams China. China needs help. USSR is, uh, okay, you get the picture. Uh, this is referencing that one graffiti image, right? I don't know if it started off as a graffiti image or known as the socialist fraternal kiss. Yeah, this was a graffiti on the Berlin Wall itself. This consists of an embrace along with a series of three kisses on alternate cheeks. The three is a little bit much, right? There's the double, but for the third, in rare cases, two leaders consider themselves exceptionally close. The kisses were given on the mouth rather than the cheeks. Oh, I didn't know this. <laughs> Of course, people depicted here was a Soviet and East German, which is why we saw the country balls, the Soviet Union ball, and a German ball. But, uh, yes. I love this man in the background. He's in my favorite part. <laughs> I don't know if he's jelly. Does he want to be a part of that? The USA tweets out, just finished my workout sesh. Meanwhile, this reply, here's what you'd look like if you were black or Chinese. This is the account here in question on Twitter. It'll just pop out in the most random circumstances, too. Like, it won't make any sense, but they will, of course, have to, you know, upload a photo. But this is the country ball universe of that happening. So we have a very clear American ball here, and this account turning the American ball into, well, black or Chinese. This is the African nation of Liberia, off the western side by the Atlantic, and well, this is Malaysia. This country is south of China, not to be confused with China. Just want to throw that out there. But they both have very similar looking flags to the USA, which is where this joke is coming from here. This is almost a little bit too perfect. Like, how did this work so well? I remember when the same dude that did this on Twitter got his face leaked, and and then he just turned his face into black or Chinese. Now that is commitment to the bit right there. The first circle of hell, limbo. Not too cold, not too hot climate, perfect for maximizing melancholy. The second circle of hell, lust, where violent hurricanes throw the sinners around. The third circle of hell, gluttony. I feel like gluttony usually does go with the USA when it comes to these seven deadly sin comparisons. Putrid and cold slush envelops the fatties in watery sludge. Fun. The fourth circle of hell, greed, where the sinners push their riches through empty rock planes. I love that this is Switzerland. That's a good one. Fifth circle of hell, Wrath, where the angry get smothered by fetid Steergen River. Is this pollution or something going on in Russia? Sixth circle of hell, Heresy, the blasphemous burns forever in flaming tombs. The fourth circle of hell, Violence, quite diverse torments here. River of liquid fire, depressing unpenetrable woods where tree wears sinner face in pain. Finally, scorching desert where the sinners wander aimlessly. Why is Thailand in the desert? Finally, the seventh circle of hell, Fraud. Even more varied tortures can be found on this level. Israel with the impossible slums that sinner must climb. It's like Sisyphus. Trenches of fire and manure. Finland's in there. Boiling blood of, uh, this something, yeah, Yugoslavia. 
tropical diseases, swarm of reptiles, the ninth circle of hell, treachery. We've got the British, the Roman Empire, and I think this is Hungary, all within the teeth, the grasp here. Everyone knows that the frigid lake of ice where the betrayers suffer the absolute zero temperatures never to feel warmth again. Oh, well, Antarctica's fine. That's completely normal. Antarctica literally lives in the ninth circle of hell. Do you see of now why is reason for me summoning you to hell? Er, well, I better explain perfect explain your expertise on heat pumps need help i spent a fortune on lac to keep all those crazy temperatures and climate stable oh the eu wasn't sent to hell it was just that uh the morocco devil needed his help something about cost increasing and actual ac temperatures decreasing increasing i don't know remember that morocco is always portrayed as satan here because of what their flag has people like to see it as a pentagram even though it's not i can't wait to do that country ball i've been waiting to do this forever i'm hoping to do it this year oh wait i need to to clarify, uh, the Morocco needs the EU because they're good at making things hotter. Is this something about pollution? The EU pollution? Start pumping coal in the air? No nuclear power. Love to see all the different country balls in the different circles of hell. Although I think this one is supposed to be this eighth circle of hell. Something about seven deadly sins in the country ball universe. Like I said, it just goes hand in hand. And big thanks to my patrons. Kansas was mentioned. Douchebag. A fat normal. Carmel Amateur archaeology. The beautiful Megan Edward. Frederick Hedlund. Without Inquisitor Jack Zarius. Straven's John annoying friend. Lugsenberg loves heavy. Ride the pie. I love the Mexican 760. And Zany Boy 